morning everyone so this morning we are going to go hunt for costumes it's costume time at goodwill the best time of the year ready Okay, so this Goodwill does not have um, costumes out yet, but I'm trying to make the most of it. I have found some stuff and I'm digging through the racks right now. I'm only going to spend like 10 minutes here um, and then go to the next one. I'm going to get a vest right now. Once you get, once you have experience, you can start going pretty fast. Um, this Goodwill is kind of expensive, so unless it's something super good. I know that I'm not buying it. But I do like to dig in there in this car, look at all the cars. This is a nice Nike, but ten dollars. That's super nice. Ten dollars. There's just not a lot of meat on the bone when it's not expensive. Which is fine. That's why my outlet ends up being so good. All right, first Goodwill is done. It's kind of a bust. I didn't get a lot of stuff. I only got like five pieces in total. All right, just dropped one of them, but I'll show you guys what I got. So I spent $33. I got this um, original Toy Story hat. I actually think this will cover everything that I got. These are super rare. Um, I'm gonna probably list this at $40 and see how it does. Um, I got a, this is another good piece. Land of Salzburg, these um, nightgowns. I can probably get about 40 for this. I was really looking for that like $40 price mark. This is a Selma maxi dress. It's an extra large and it's really pretty. I can't really show it very well, but you get the point here. It's a really pretty Selma dress. So this, um, again, this will be like a $40. So I got a logo maxi dress. This should be another $40. And this, I'm going to actually list at $100. These sell between $100 to $200. Um, this is a Laura Ashley Prairie dress. It's a vintage long sleeve. Um, I paid $7.99 for it, but I'll just take some pictures and show you guys. It's amazing. So yeah, 30 bucks, And I didn't do too bad. Okay, so after careful consideration, to go to the bins right now because I only have about two more hours of shopping and instead of driving there because I don't know if they have costumes out now. I thought everyone did. So I'm going to head to the bins and then hopefully next week they were saying all the costumes should be out and I can costume hunt then. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to go spend a couple hours at the bins and hopefully get a lot of good stuff. There it is. The outlet. I just got done. I did, um, 53 pounds? So not too shabby. 53 pounds is good. I'm going to go home, pick up Delilah, um, sort through it. I'm probably give you guys a haul right after this. Yeah. yeah. Not everything. Just some of my best pieces. Um, and that's been my day so far. Not too bad. I hope you guys are having a good day. Whatever you're doing. All right. Quick stop at Whole Foods. I got this delicious smoothie and some vegetables. And Delilah, what did you get? Peanut butter strawberry smoothie. Peanut butter strawberry smoothie. Yeah, yeah. Did you make a day of school? Uh, kind of. 
What was your favorite part? Me, my cookie, and drinking my snowy and hanging out with you. Oh, thanks. Okay, so I'm home, and look at Jeremy worked by himself today, and it's he just completed drafts. He started at nine, and I can literally see what he did all day long. Look at him. About every five minutes, he completed a draft. I'm alone for the first time um, from nine to one. And I can literally see that he works right up. This is the last one. It takes him about five minutes. So um, that's awesome. He did a great job today. Um, and it's nice to know that I can have faith and rely on, rely on him. Um, anyway, side note, I'm actually going to upload these in bulk today because I actually built a bunch of these titles. So I selected... 45 that he did today and I'm going to go in and edit them in bulk. So edit the fields uh, and duration. Let's make sure that it should be all fixed price duration 30 days. Anyway, if you're not using bulk editor and you draft it all, it saves a ton of time because you can go through and you can edit a bunch of stuff all at once, which is really nice. So if your thing's uploaded as auction, you can just go through. Um, and then make sure the payment policy is good and all of that stuff. So then after I do all the bulk editing, I'm actually just going to go through and update the prices. So I can see what it is, and then I'll just go through and update all the prices, and then they'll be ready to go. Okay, guys, I just got out of a meeting. I'm in a contest. That's all I can really tell you. But I'm in this contest, and I'm doing really good. But I need, like, this push, and it's very crazy. I can't get to the top. That's how I feel about it. <laughs> um... Basically, my GMV, my monthly, my yearly, my yearly growth is down, and that's like killing my my ability to win. So I gotta. I'll let you guys know more about this contest in a couple of weeks. Um, but point of the matter is, I need to sell more stuff. Like, and the only way to do that is to list more because I have a really good sell through rate. So. Basically, I gotta like hit the pavement because I have two weeks essentially to sell and push and move as much stuff as I can. I need to sell some higher dollar stuff. So I'm thinking about like even going through my house and being like, all right, this will sell for a lot of money. Let's sell it. That's how I feel right now. I want to win so bad. That's who I am. So all I do is win, except I'm not winning. I'm so close though, you guys. I can't wait to tell you all about this contest that I've been a part of. It's super cool. I've had a really good couple months with it. I'm right at the end and I'm so close to the top. Ugh. Finishing up a puzzle with you. We thrifted this of course, but I love these pottery bar puzzles. <gasps> Good job! One last piece. Can I do it or you want to do it? I want to do it. Okay. Where does it go? After I put this in. You just, can you do some of the cracks? Yeah, I know. It's not fun to do on carpet. <gasps> okay, last piece. Last piece. <gasps> it's Okay guys, so I was in bed and now I thought I'd show you part of my haul. I'm not going to show it all to you. I'm going to show, what is this, about half of it, half of what I got today. I spent $50 um, and I did really good. I mean, there's nothing like the bins. It's a bummer because I know I can go to regular Goodwill and get stuff that's going to sell for more money, but I'm spending more money, my ROI is less. I go to the bins, it's like I spend $50 and I can make it back in two or three items and I get a hundred items so it's so hard to like it's 
so hard to beat that. I am in a good area for the bend, but anyway, this is some of the stuff I got today. Um, some of my better stuff. Lots of the other stuff is just bread and butter. But this stuff is cool. Some of you might be able to learn some new brands, all that jazz. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit about how people think the bins are really dirty and they're always, like, I don't wash all my stuff and people always ask me about that. Um, so they roll out the bins in those big blue tubs, right? My bins are not dirty. I Different bins have different things, but my bins, all the clothes come out together. Um, and then all the hard goods come out together, like blankets come out separate. Everything is kind of like separated nicely, which is great. Um, so when you're digging through a bin of clothes, it's just clothes in there. Of course, like stuff can get mixed in. Don't get me wrong. But don't just dive into it, right? There might be something sharp at the bottom. But at the end of the day, for the most part, it's all clothes. I look for the bins that have these little tags on them. This is a Goodwill tag. Um, so you can see the bins. Like it will literally just look like this, like stacks of clothes straight from Goodwill. And those are the bins that I like to go through first. Those are the ones that have already been to through the Goodwill process. Um, a lot of times I'll find really good stuff in them because they my Goodwill just marks stuff up so high that no one's buying it. Um, and it doesn't even necessarily ever get to half off. It's supposed to be on the floor for like five weeks before it goes on half off. But um, like this one has a date of 717. Dates right there. Um, so this wasn't even on the floor long enough to get to half off. So it's like, I just find really good stuff, um, and those are the bins I go through. So those bins aren't dirty. Like, those are the same as the clothes hanging in the Goodwill. They're just now taken off a hanger and put into a bin. So for me, it's like, if something is dirty and it needs to be washed, of course I wash it. I lint roll. I make sure everything's clean before it goes out. But I've never had any issues. Um, and I feel like washing, when you get something used in the mail, you put it in the wash. You wash it, I hope. Um... People are allergic to different laundry detergents. Like, I know our family doesn't use, like, a free and clear. So, I wouldn't hate for someone to break out because of the laundry detergent I might use. Um, I also just feel like it's a waste of our environmental resources to use that much water. I mean, I'd have to have the laundry going constantly for as much as I list. So, for me, as long as it's clean and presentable, I lint roll it. I make sure it looks great. Um... It's good to go. Everyone is different. If you wash all your items, that's awesome. Keep doing it. That's all great. One day, maybe I'll be in a space where I have like industrial washer and dryers and I can wash everything and it can be awesome. But for right now, this is just where I am. On with the haul. Yes? Okay. Um, I'll, I'll, uh, this is a really popular plus size brand. I'm not gonna try and say it, but anytime I get this brand, it's a great sell. This is a really cute shirt. Kind of like a tunic, really pretty floral. Um, and then I'll put this one up for 25 on eBay. This skirt is cute. I am like obsessed with this skirt. I might put this in one of my boxes. Um, I should list it on eBay. I would probably list it for 20 on eBay. How cute is it though? Like I love this like floral. I'm just like so obsessed with this skirt. If I dressed in skirts, I would totally wear this. Um, and it's International Concepts, it's just a Macy's house brand. Um, so I'm either going to list it on eBay for 20 or I'm going to put it into one of my state crates. This bad boy is like beautiful vintage. The beads are kind of gross. They need to be cleaned. Do they or is that just like their... No. Either way. Here. Check this out. This is like a vintage... I don't even know like 90s or something um but look at this bad boy oh my gosh but look at the neckline on it like it's one thing to have a cool sequin dress it's another to have this insanely gorgeous like strappy beaded the straps definitely need some work there's some beads missing on some of them um and then the back is just as gorgeous so, yeah, on a mannequin, this guy is going to be perfect. Anyway, I have no idea what I'm going to put this up as. I'll get, like, maybe 20 bucks for it or something, but makes me happy. <laughs> um, okay, this is a men's Tommy Bahama. It's just a pullover sweater, like a half zip, 
love the textured fabric. Goodwill wanted $14.99, and that is why it ended up in my bins. Um, I'll probably put it up at $25. Sorry, I'm trying to pile things as I go because it just makes my life easier. I thought this was hilarious. This is actually has the thread up tag on it. So somebody sent this into thread up, um, and then someone bought it off of thread up, and then it ended up at the Good Fit, the Goodwill outlet. So here's the tag. They wanted $9.99 at my Goodwill. No one bought it. It's Lafayette, $148, size 6, blazer. Their stuff isn't selling for as much as it used to, um, but that happens. I'll probably get $15 to $20. These blazers are like $250 brand new, um, $100 in the like $100 to $300 range. So definitely a high-end brand. Um, the plus size stuff still does good for me. The you know newer stuff does great. But I'm definitely not gonna turn it down at the bin because it will definitely sell. Oh, this was a score. I might keep this for myself. We're going to the beach this weekend and I need some like cozy pajamas. I don't usually, um, I'm not like a pajama girl, but we're sharing a beach house with Hazel Hearts Vintage. So I'm gonna need some cute PJs and how cute are these, Soma. And then when I'm done with them, I can sell them for like $30. So some uh, medium leopard print. Yeah, I'm totally going to take these to the beach house this weekend. So cozy. Oh my god. Kayla got Hazel and Des and Delilah matching pajamas for the beach house. And there's bunk beds. They're going to have so much fun. Oh, I cannot wait. I cannot wait. I'm not going to work at all this weekend. Okay. Onward. What's up next? Oh, this is a, um, I don't buy all Columbia stuff, but this is a three, uh, tall. So three extra large tall men's outdoor long sleeve plaid button down shirt. Um, so yeah, I snagged this and I'll put it up for probably 25 or so. This is fun. Uh, this is says drink more coffee and it's just, um, like, a, what is this? A dolman sleeve t-shirt but the fun part about this is it's from black rock coffee which is like uh i don't know if they have them anywhere but like my area um but oh i just got a sell um but black rock is like a little fun kind of like a dutch brothers or something like that like a drive through coffee place that people love so i thought this is fun somebody's definitely want to pick up this black rock shirt also it's cute if it was black i would wear it but i'm not really a red girl i just dropped off in my pile guys so anyway, drink more coffee. How fun is this shirt? This pile. This is a uh, Lucy Activewear. Who bought them? Somebody bought them. Somebody bought Lucy. I forget who. Amazon or something. Somebody bought Lucy. Some like crazy acquisition happened. Um, Lucy. Lucy Tech. This is just a pullover. Athletic. I think it was an Amazon. I forget who it was, but somebody bought them. Anyway, pullover athletic shirt. These sell for like 15. But hey, that makes me happy. I got these pants. These are brand new tags and they were like picked over in the bins and I was like, what? What? Brand new a tag. Gap. Size 14 trousers. I was like, what's wrong with them? <laughs> There's nothing wrong with them. Goodwill wanted 20. They were originally marked for 50. And I probably paid about a dollar, 99 cents a pound for these bad boys. How, these are like the perfect trouser pants, too. Yeah. Perfect trouser. I might put these in one of my boxes. Um, this is the trouser. I could probably sell them for 25 to 30 because these are super classic. People love these. They're a great size. They were 55 originally. Um, I might actually end up putting one of these in one of my safe crates. These are just such a good staple. And that's really what I want to be sending people is like staple pieces. So. I might put those in a box. We'll see. Got style profiles now, which is super fun. What am I doing with my life? This is a Jams Roll dress, and I'm holding it upside down. Jams Roll is great. Um, I remember one of my best bin, like, scores is I went to the bins. I had no idea. I was, like, still learning all the brands. Like, I've gotten these brands one at a time, just like everybody else. So, um, I found a like a couple of these pieces and I went down this whole row and there's more and more and more and I was like God, this stuff is horrible. It's ugly I thought it was horrible and I was just throwing it back and then I was like gosh what is that stuff I've never heard of the jams world before so I looked it up and I'm like whoa 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 this stuff is selling for good money a couple of years ago it sold for way more than it sells for now 
Um, so I went through and I was like trying to get all of it. It was like through a whole entire row just scattered. Trying to get all of it and they started pulling out the bins to flip a rotation while I'm trying to like find the rest of the Jams World stuff. I think I ended up with at least 10 pieces if not more but how crazy I was throwing it back and then I realized it was good and I was like frantically trying to get it all while they're like, excuse me, bin coming through. That's what they say my my bins. Bin been coming out? Been coming out! They yell at you. <laughs> okay, check it out. Jam's World Bolo. This is a great size and extra large. Um, and here is the most awesome part about Jam's World. I mean, besides selling it and making money. Um, hold on. Bear with me. I have something to show you guys. I better hurry up with this haul. It's taking a long time. Um... Oh, it's washed out, but on this tag somewhere we'll have the name, the style name on it. So it makes listing them so easy. And the pattern name. This is um, a Lane Bryant dress. It's a size 24. And it's a really pretty kind of formal ruffle neck dress. How perfect would this be for the holidays, which are coming up? I mean, we only have a couple months till Christmas. So totally picture someone wearing this for like a holiday party or something. Um, I'm going to lift this kind of high, I think. I might even try and put like 35 to 40 on it. We'll see how comps are doing, but it won't sell right away. But with the holidays coming up, it will end up moving. This is a flight attendant dress from Land's End. And I can't find anything about Land's End making flight attendant dresses, but I'm positive. Like, it has these two little holes right there, which is very reminiscent, or very much like a flight attendant uniform. So, it's navy blue. I gotta try and figure this out. Um, I didn't, I can't find Land's End, like, I found one on eBay, a Land's End, um, uniform dress, or I want a stewardess, uh, I'm losing my words. I know them. Anyway, I gotta do more research. That's all I gotta say. Okay, I got super excited about this. If you look up this brand, Hardcore Polo, uh, this, these, like, professional swimsuits go for a lot of money. Uh, like, even just the, um men's slim speedo shorty things uh, are selling for like 40 bucks. Um, so I was like, yeah, cool, cool tiger. And then I realized it's for a local high school. So tiger at high school, I have one of their slim things. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. Um, I mean, maybe somebody wants it still. <laughs> oh, no. It's still really cool. It just has, it's totally like the school. So. Even I buy, even I make really bad purchases sometimes. What are you going to do? This dress is cute. Um, it's not going to show very well, but it's very, it's a shirt dress. It's very like classic pinup 1950s. It's brand new with tags and it should sell for about um, 20 bucks. It's like a cheaper brand. It's called Look for the Stars and they were selling on eBay. There's only a few of them for uh, 20 bucks. But hey, I'll take 20 bucks at the bins. Totally take 20 bucks. So this is Free People. It's older Free People, but I bought it because I liked it. I thought it was still really cute and relevant. So Free People, small. Um, the beading is intact. There's no issues. So it's got really pretty beading around the neckline. Tie back. Um, I'll get like 10 bucks for that. That's not going to be a big seller. This is an Adidas jacket. It's just a fleece jacket with the, the hood. Solid black. Women's. Small fleece jacket. Um, that's like a, what do you think that, what do you guys think that will sell for? <laughs> 20 bucks? Uh, Express jumpsuit. I love this thing. I thought it was just so cute. It's a size 12. It'll probably fit me actually. Um, maybe I'll try it. It's just so fun. I've always wanted to be a person who could rock jumpsuits, but I have really large thighs. And so when I try and rock jumpsuits, they look ridiculous because my thighs are so large that, um, like ones like this that are supposed to be like, it just doesn't work. Maybe I'll try it on though. I've always wanted a good jumpsuit, you guys. Maybe this isn't the one. Probably not. But I can sell it for 20 bucks. Uh, this is an anthropology brand. Oh, something. Oh, that one. O-D-I-L-L-E. This is just a button front. Super cute blouse. I'll list that on eBay for uh, 20 bucks to start with. I'll probably... Someone offers me 10, I'll take it. 
This is like brand new. I'm very picky with my Columbia fleeces. I used to buy these every chance I got, but now the, the market is really oversaturated and they're just not as popular. So, and they're cheaper to buy now, it seems like in the store. Anyway, point of the story is dark blue Columbia full zip fleece jacket and it feels brand new. Um, so it's a size extra large. Wow, they put $15 on this at Goodwill. That's how much I'll get for it on eBay. But this is the perfect season back to school and everything that's not back to school this is fall but it'll go oh i got two of these um so somebody threw this back i was shocked i wonder how much of it was there that i missed out on so this is brand new victoria beckham and we all know how much of this ended up at goodwill a ton of it so this is a size 1x and this is just like a black dress but perfect perfect brand new super pumped on this guy hopefully they're still selling i didn't look it up um, but those were really good money makers. I got a few of them when they first came out. I sold this, uh, same sweater for like 30 to 50. I forget exactly. I really feel like it was closer to 50, but I don't want to over exaggerate. And point of the story is I sold this exact sweater for a really good amount of money and it was used and everything. This one is used or it doesn't have the tag. It feels brand new, but, um, but anyway, Victoria Beckham for Target. Super stoked that I got this at the bins. Hopefully I can get at least 25 to 30 on that guy. This is a J. Jill. I got a lot of J. Jill pieces. J. Jill, really good point knit pencil skirt. This is such a good pencil skirt. I love these. Everybody needs one in their wardrobe. Um, put 20 on that. Okay, this is interesting. This is a Lulu's and I normally don't buy what, this is I think a wedding dress. I normally don't pick up Lulu, uh, wedding dresses, but this is like a younger, Lulu's um and the neckline is really cute so the neckline is like so it's like this it's really pretty it's like kind of like a triangle-y neckline um it's just a really gorgeous wedding dress and it looked like their wedding dresses are selling very I mean they had a really good sell through um and for decent money so hopefully i'll probably there was a couple small spots but anybody who buys this for their wedding is going to get it cleaned anyway i hope um and oh i just got a good offer 40 bucks hopefully this will sell for around 50 so i'll just mark that it has a couple spots but hopefully they would get it dry cleaned anyway it would be for wedding day what am i doing We'll see how it goes. I have a couple other vintage wedding dresses I need to get lifted, come to think of it. So I'll probably just do those all together tomorrow. This was a good find. Hi, hello. Uh, Lululemon's younger children's line, Ivea or whatever. This is just a crop sweatshirt. I think that this, I heard this, Um, they're discontinuing their kids stuff. So this is going out. How cute is this? Uh, Goodwill wanted $4.99. Would have paid $4.99 for this. It'll probably, I don't know how much the style is going for, but at least 25 to 30 bucks. Their kid stuff sells really well. At least secondhand. Clearly not really well because it's going out of business. This is a Nike Element. I sell these. They're definitely a bread and butter piece. It's called a Nike Element. It should have some. It's a Nike running piece, essentially. Um, there it is. So I will list this for 20. It'll probably sell for 15. And it will move pretty quickly. These are really cute pants. I couldn't leave them behind. They're Ann Taylor Loft, size 12. They're tuxedo striped, but it's like a pleather tuxedo stripe. Love these. Like, I'm like, ooh, will these fit me? Because I would rock these so hard. I love these. Love, 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 love these. Um, so I bought them. And hopefully somebody else loves them if they don't fit me. I won't keep them because I'll never wear I'm like a, it's not a dress pants type of girl. Torrid dress. I love finding torrid pieces. Torrid size 14. It is missing the belt. Um, but it's kind of like a retro A-line sweetheart neck dress. Solid gray. No belt. But that's an easy fix, you guys. Somebody will buy a belt for this. Somebody will just put their own spin on it. I don't even worry about stuff like that. I do note it in the description, but I don't worry about it when I'm buying it. At the bins, especially. Armani Exchange. Hello. Armani Exchange does pretty good for me. This is just a basic little black dress. Little black. Very sexy. It's got like a slit in the front. Halter dress. Hello. That's a date night piece for sure. J. Jill Linen Shorts. J. Jill Linen Shorts. 
Goodwill linen shorts. How much at Goodwill bought for these? $6.99. No one bought them. I'm happy to take them home though. This was a good find. I was pumped when I found this. Okay. Um, William Rass, which is a pretty expensive brand. And this is a really cute little blazer. It's kind of got like a military thing over here. Really fun. But it's brand new with tags. This blazer brand new was over a hundred dollars. Super cute. I was really pumped. I could not believe I found it brand new with tags at the bins. I'm not saying it's gonna sell for a ton of money, but it retailed for a ton of money and it ended up at the bins. And I love that I was able to rescue it. Uh, Orvis Trout Bum. This is a fishing shirt. This is a vented fishing shirt. Um, it looks like it has like a tab sleeve. Really great keywords. Hopefully I'll get 15 to 20 on this bad boy. This is, uh, I don't know if I should have bought this or not, but I couldn't leave it behind. It was Disney. It's like Disney shopping. So older Disney. And it's like a duster sweater. Do you guys know? I used to wear these things in high school. They were like super popular in the 90s. Or like early 2000s. That's when I went to high school. Um, it has Tinkerbell on it. So this would have totally been something the girls in my high school would have been wearing. It's heavy though. I probably paid two dollars for it. Um, I just couldn't leave it behind. I, it's crazy. I know. So I don't know how much it will sell for, or if anybody even wants something like that. But I bought it. We'll see. J Jill. One of the tag sides that came untacked. This is a size small, and it's just a sweater, tunic. Goodwill wanted seven ninety nine, um, and I'll probably sell it for fifteen to twenty. This is a Nike running jacket. I found another really nice Nike running jacket and I had to leave it behind because the zipper was broken. I was so bummed. It had the pinwheel on the hood. <sighs> really cool. Anyway, Nike running jacket. Front and back. And Goodwill one or $12.99. I don't know how much I'll get for it. I'll look up the style number. This is a woman's Columbia shirt. I really love this plaid. The flannel shirt. There it is. Um, I'll get 15 for that bad boy. Gap pants. These are boys gap pants. Um, size 5. Adjustable waist. And I'll get 15 for these. Especially this time of year. I'll get them listed like immediately. This is factory distressing. It's supposed to be like that. Oh, these are, this is cool. Look at this. This is like a Steelers leotard. How fun. Somebody's going to want this for like Halloween or something. I don't know. I couldn't leave it behind. I grabbed it. I don't know if anybody wants it or how much it will go for. This is Daughters of the Liberation. Yes, Daughters of the Liberation Anthropology. These are just uh, brown pants. Their stuff doesn't sell for a ton of money. Um, some of it does, but like these pair of pants will go for 15. Last but not least, a really good piece I found at a bin that had definitely been picked over for a long time. It was there. I don't know, 20 minutes before I got the, to it. Um, the elastic is twisted, but that is an easy fix for me to untwist this elastic. Garnet Hill Elaine Fisher pants. Yes, 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 yes. This stuff is hot. People love these things. They're super lightweight, kind of burn out. Um, but the Elaine Fisher Garnet Hill pajamas, buy them. Pay up for them if you have to. They have a great sell through rate. They sell really well. Okay. That's half of my haul. The other half is just really basic bread and butter, $10 items. Um, now I'm going to get back to listing and I'm going to publish this vlog. And tomorrow I'm going to hang out at the office all day long and list, 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 list because I am really close to the end of something big and I'm super excited about it and I got to lying this my way to the top really fast so i'll fill you guys in on that later and we'll talk soon thanks for hanging out you guys oh yeah uh i'm supposed to say thumbs up subscribe like share all of that fun stuff if you like my channel it always really helps me if you can um give me a thumbs up if you can share this video put it on facebook if you liked it or one of my other videos um put me in a playlist maybe make a reseller playlist with all your favorite resellers that always helps our channels a lot when you do things like that um and then of course if you haven't subscribed i would really love it if you would you'll get and if you want you can get notifications about when i put new videos out it's lots of fun i promise
Okay, guys. 